Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Indeed, the cold has moved on in. That Arctic blast we talked about moving in and coming into the northwest hit much of the country and snow flying in the northeast. Lake effect snow, which I'll be explaining more in Fox 9 News at 9 tonight in my special weather segment on how lake effect snow can really make Buffalo, New York get buried under snow and many other places in the northeast as well. In the meantime, kind of a gloomy looking picture. This is just before sunrise in Canyon County and look at the fog. Thick fog again, then the visibility has improved a bit, but the low gray skies continue in version conditions persist around the valley and this is the latest picture really hasn't changed all that much for Canyon County not breaking out into any hazy sunshine like we saw in a good portion of Ada County the higher elevation saw a good deal of sunshine temperatures hitting the mid 30s I saw some 40s in the Owyhee Mountains some of the peaks there South Mountain at 45 degrees today and those higher elevations is that warm air is coming in aloft and so that's the inversion here in the valley we're socked in the cold a view from the village at Meridian and the current temperature in Boise is at 14 degrees this will drop down to the single digits in the next couple of hours and then just kind of bounce around up and down again near that low temperature. It will stay overnight and it might drop that little extra bit towards the morning. Pressure still high at 30.52 and winds are light out of the west at 5 miles per hour. I want to show you this Boise temperature and dew point profile from this morning. And you launch that weather balloon every morning from different National Weather Service offices around the country. One is launched in Boise uh, just before 6 o'clock. Actually, it's uh, 5 o'clock now. It's before 5 o'clock in the morning and 5 o'clock in the evening. This was the morning profile. Here's the surface temperature. It was around 6 degrees this morning. But when you went up to 7,200 feet, it was 35 degrees. And the latest observation showing some warm air coming in a little lower as well, where temperatures are still hovering here in the 30s. And as I mentioned, some places are in the 40s. And so that was the difference. That's what you call an inversion. So if you want to escape the cold tomorrow, you have to go to the higher elevations, driving up to Bogus Basin or Idaho City. You can get some beautiful weather in Boise County uh, in the wintertime. When we have inversions here, they just don't have it. There. It's quite nice. Still cold air settles into the McCall area. We're only at 29 degrees. It's a little milder in the higher elevations. I saw Bogus Basin at 39 degrees just a little while ago. No melting going on because the air is so dry, but it certainly softens the snow up a little bit. High humidity and just about no wind going on in the McCall area. Here's Bogus Basin again, the picture from this afternoon, the snow hanging on, and latest computer charts for the weekend show an impressive amount of moisture coming in from Friday night through Tuesday, most of it being Friday night and Saturday, we could get a nice uh, healthy uh, dump of snow here in Bogus Basin and many essential mountain locations. Remember, Pomerel Mountain is going to be opening uh, this coming weekend. I know a lot of the other mountains are going to try to open early as well. Tamarack, I should say, uh, yes, Tamarack, here's a mound of snow. They've been making lots of snow at the base. A snow gun still going this afternoon, taking advantage of that cold air around the region. Temperatures in the teens right now are certainly on the cold side, and here it is, a carbon copy, a dense fog advisory in effect from tonight. 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock in the morning. It'll be just like it was today with that frost at uh, uh, ice crystals hanging from the trees. Uh, more stormy pattern offshore. This is tracking in our direction. Here's Idaho. The first wave will come in with the cold air hanging on. We'll get a little light snow coming in. Wednesday night, that's tomorrow night, just before Thursday morning. I'll show you here on the future cast. It shows during the day tomorrow, high clouds coming in over the inversion. This is tomorrow night, about 2 in the morning. I don't want to believe the green here. I don't think it will rain. It's too cold in the valleys. And so this would be a period of snow from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. Not good for the rush hour. It wouldn't be a lot, but could be enough to coat the roadways with some snow and some ice on Thursday morning. We'll have to keep an eye on that. In the meantime, cold air in place over the weekend. There's another storm headed on in, and that one's going to be more impressive. 20s tomorrow. Damp, cold, fog in the morning, cloudy skies in the afternoon. The West Central Mountains, not as bad in Boise County with temperatures in the 30s will be around 29 in the McCall area. My on your side extended forecast, you'll see it right here over the weekend. That's when the real impressive storm could come in with a lot of snow in Idaho Central Mountains. Keep that in mind. Now, we may get up to 39 on Saturday. Friday night, we could have some heavy snow falling in the Boise area Friday night, hmm. and then temperatures should should rise on Saturday, but it's one of those, I believe it when I see it, warm air should finally come in, but it could be a mess before that. Again. Well, I don't think it will be as bad as this last one because the cold air will be leaving. She's looking at me funny. Well, you know, <laughs> uh, we'll keep an eye on it. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Thanks, Scott. The Democrat-controlled Senate has defeated